part three, we're going to review and practice both balancing and looking at types of reactions. Let's start with a review of the types of reactions. So synthesis or combination, you have two reactants form one product. Decomposition, you have one reactant forms two or more products. Single displacement, you have a compound and an element, and the element switches so it, it becomes part of the compound, and um, part of the compound is now by itself as an element. And double displacement, you switch partners completely. Um, so these are the four categories. We also talked about neutralization, which is a double displacement. We talked about combustion, um, which doesn't quite fit into these categories, and redox includes several of them. Let's look at some single replacements. So let's complete and balance these reactions. And I recommend you pause it here. You try it. I put the activity series up because that's what you need for these. So pause it here and then watch to see how to do it. So the first one, we've got magnesium and nickel. So we find magnesium and nickel. So the highest is magnesium. So that means magnesium wants to be in the compound. It already is magnesium chloride. No reaction. The next one, we have zinc, which is here, and magnesium here. So the highest one is magnesium. It wants to be in the compound. Well, it's not. So they're going to have to switch. So the magnesium is going to go with, you may wonder, is it the zinc or the chloride? Well, you can't put magnesium and zinc together. The two metals don't form a compound. So we're going to put the magnesium with the Cl. We don't necessarily bring this two over. We're going to balance it with its partner. So magnesium is plus two. Chloride's minus one. They're not the same, we've got to cross them, so it's MgCl2. So we do need the two, not because we had it with the zinc, because we need it with its current partner. And our other product is the zinc by itself, zinc. So we do have a reaction, let's balance it. We've got one zinc, one zinc, two chlorides, two chlorides, one magnesium. We're good, that one's already balanced. All right, the last one, we've got aluminum right here and hydrogen right here. So the aluminum is higher. It wants to be the compound, but it's not. It's all by itself. So we're going to put the aluminum with the hydrogen or the chlorine. Well, hydrogen's plus. We're not going to put it with that. We'll put it with the chlorine. So AlCl. You look at the charges. Al is plus 3. Cl is minus. So our compound is going to be AlCl3, right? And then what's going to be by itself is the H. And we don't just write H, we try to write it H2 gas. So hydrogen gas. So that's our reaction. Let's go ahead and erase some of the stuff we don't need the plus, the minus. Get rid of this plus and minus as well. All right. And now um, we need to balance it. And this one's a little bit tricky to balance because we have three chlorines but two hydrogens. But we have to have the same number of H and Cl because they come as HCl. So I have to think about what number will go into both of those. And the answer is six. I'm going to need six H's and six Cl's. Okay. Um, and so I'll need two of these, two times three is six, and I'm going to need three of these. Um, so that takes care of the Cl and the H, and now we have two in front of the aluminum, so let's put a two here for the aluminum, and then that one is balanced. Here's some double replacement reactions, and we'll, let's write them in molecular and net ionic format. So remember with double replacement, we're going to switch partners. 
So in this first one, we're going to put PB with I. So PB and I. And now we consider the charge. Now PB, we don't know because it has more than one possible charge, but we look, it's with two nitrates here. So that means it's got to be plus two. So PB is plus two and I is minus one. So we need to cross those charges, PBI2. Plus our other compound, we're going to put the K with the NO3. And we look at those charges, K is plus, NO3 is minus. So we don't need subscripts. All right, so let's erase that. Erase our charges, our arrows charges. All right, and let's um, now look at our solubility rules and see if there's a reaction. So our first compound, PBI2, we're going to look at this rule here with the I, and we notice lead is one of the exceptions. So remember, this was our AQ column, and this is our solid. So this would be AQ, except it's a, an exception that makes it solid. And then the KNO3, we've got this K part, so that's always soluble. This is AQ. We do have a solid, so we do have a reaction. We'll go ahead and balance it. So we've got one lead, one lead. We've got two NO3s, so I'm going to put a two in front of this, two NO3s. Um, then we've got two potassiums, so I'll put a two in front of this one and two iodides, so that one is balanced. Now, if we were to write it net ionic, remember what we're going to do is the piece that's aqueous, we're just going to eliminate it. So that means we're going to eliminate all the Ks and all the NO3s. So um, over here, we'll have the PB with the two plus, but we're not going to write the NO3 part. And that's aqueous. And then Ki, we're not going to write the K part because it's part of this piece. So we'll just say plus 2i minus aqueous. Kind of running out of room, so I'll write it below. Gives us, and then we just write the solid product, PBI2 solid. And so that's the net ionic form. All right, let's look at the next one. We've got Na is going to go with CO3. So we have NaCO3. When we look at the charges, Na is plus, CO3, 2 minus. Um, so we're going to need Na2CO3. So that's our first react our product. And now we're going to put the NH4 with the Cl. So NH4, we don't need to bring the 2 with Cl. Consider their charges, NH4 is plus, Cl is minus, so we don't need any subscripts. All right, let's erase our arrows, our charges, and let's look at our solubility. So NaCO3, we've got Na, always soluble. So this one is aqueous. All right, NH4Cl, we've got the NH4. So this one is also aqueous. So notice both our products are aqueous. Well, what does that mean? That means no reaction. So nothing happens when we mix those. Let's look at the last one. We have NH4. I'm going to put it with the Cl. So NH4 with the Cl. Don't necessarily bring the twos. Let's see what the charges are. NH4 is plus. Cl is minus. So we don't need any subscripts. Our next product is calcium with carbonate. Ca. CO3. Again, check the charges. Ca is 2 plus. 
CO3, 2 minus. So we don't need subscripts there. Let's erase the things we don't need. Get rid of our charges. Oh, I got rid of a subscript there too. Let's put that one back. This had a 3. Oh, I need to go back to my pen. 3. Okay, so we've got our products. Now we check our solubility rules. NH4, that's this piece, always soluble. So we'll put AQ there. CaCO3, it's the carbonate we're looking at. It's this rule right here. They are insoluble except rule one. Well, we don't have rule one, so this one is solid. So that is our products. We do have a solid, so let's balance it. We've got two NH4, so we'll put a two here. And then one carbonate, one calcium, two chlorides, so that is balanced. And then if we were to write it net ionic, what we're gonna leave out is this piece right here, okay? So in our first compound, we don't want to write the ammonium. We'll just write carbonate, CO3, 2 minus, aqueous, plus, in this compound, we're going to leave out the chloride, Ca2 plus, aqueous, goes to, we don't write the aqueous piece, we just do the Ca2. CO3 solid. And that is our net ionic. Let's try neutralization. So here we have um, HNO3, KOH. And remember, it's double replacement. The H is going with the OH. That makes H2O. There's our water. And the K is going with the NO3. So plus K NO3. Check the charges there. K is plus, NO3 is minus, so we don't need any subscripts. We've made water liquid, so we do have a reaction. Let's erase the arrows, erase our charges, and balance. All right, so we have NO3 we have one, K we have one, and water. So that is balanced. And the physical state on this, based on solubility rules, that is aqueous. All right, next one, we've got the H going with the OH. So that's H2O. And we have the Na going with the SO4. NaSO4. Now we check the charges on that. Na is plus. SO4 is 2 minus. Those are not the same, so we have to write Na2SO4. And we made liquid water. We have a reaction. This one is aqueous based on the sodium. And let's get rid of our charges. Erase that, erase that. Get rid of our arrows. And balance. So notice we have two sodiums. So I'm going to put a two there. Another way to think about balancing neutralization, we have an acid with two hydrogens. And so that means we're going to have to have two hydroxides to go with it. And we're going to make two waters. And so you can just look at the H and the OH and balance it from there. Last one. Um, we have the H going with the OH, so there's our water, liquid, and then we have BA going with CL, so BACL. Check the charges on those. BA is 2 plus, CL is minus, so we need BACL2. All right, and erasing our arrows and our charges, and let's balance it. 
And going back to the same idea, here we have two hydroxides. So we're going to need two H's to go with it. So we'll need a two there. And you can see that works out with our two CLs as well. And that's going to make two waters. And so that one is balanced. And here's all three of those sets typed so that you can see them more neatly. And the next few slides have a lot of practice. And I'm not going to work out all the problems, but I'll just leave them for you. So pause it here. Try these problems. And then when you have them done, turn it back on. And here are the answers. Here's another set of practice problems. So try these. When you have them done, check the answers. More practice problems, balance, and give the type of reaction here. And here are your answers. So the important things to learn from this chapter, number one, balance reactions. Number two, identify reaction types, synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, neutralization, and combustion. So notice I didn't put redox here. Use the solubility rules to predict products for double displacement or double replacement. Goes both ways. Use the activity series to predict pro products for single replacement reactions. Predicts the products for neutralization reactions. And write net ionic equations.